There are new developments tonight involving two young girls from Walt Whitman High School in Bethesda who posted on social media a picture of themselves in blackface and using the N word. Now we're not going to show you the offensive photo, but we do know that they have been suspended from school. Our Scott Broom talks with an African American student leader there to help all of us understand why this is no joke among kids to just brush off. If you're an African American kid here at Whitman High School in Bethesda, you're in a real small group, just 4%. And while a lot of people would say there aren't any racial problems here, just listen for a moment to freshman Madison Boyd. Talk about how alienating it is to see social media posts coming from kids you thought you knew, only to find out what they're really thinking is okay to say. It is very difficult for me to be able to trust other individuals at this school because I do not know their mindset and if they would do things like this because I was very surprised about what happened the other day. So now moving forward, I am very hesitant about interacting with other people because of this. Kind of makes you feel like you're in a box. Exactly. Boyd capturing the damage that's done and why the administration here has reacted so strongly. The principal here calling the blackface and n-word social media posts by students deeply disturbing and unacceptable. Professor Neil Lesser of Arizona State University teaches courses on the n-word in our culture. That's a that's a myth that the kids don't understand. You can certainly conflate the issue of social media with the use of this word. But the, the problem seems to be that kids only start owning up to this when they've been caught. And lots of people try to apologize it away or justify it. And there is none when parents and adults haven't really dealt with race deliberately and intentionally and honestly. And we are all very uncomfortable after the situation because, of the, because the environment at Whitman is very tense towards minorities and there is a lot of racial tensions. For Madison Boyd, she says the tension here has been both subtle and overt. Teachers who assume black kids don't know answers or are athletes. Boyd says she's been harassed by older boys calling names because she says they know they can get away with it. Which is why Boyd and other minority student leaders here in the Minority Scholars Program are on a mission to elevate the conversation out in the open. Right now they're producing a video project, a project about who they are, why they matter and why using the N-word out in the open or in secret is no joke, no way. At Whitman High School in Bethesda, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. According to the Minority Scholars, Whitman's minority population is 4% African American, 10% Hispanic, and 14% Asian.